This is a new millennium, year 2000, the blooming of fireworks bring the first year of the new century for China. There is boundless hope as the horizon rises, and there is also a huge crisis. At the end of the last century, the Kosovo War, the Taiwan Strip Crisis, and the eroded sovereignty of the South China Sea made China feel threatened to its national interests. China realized its shortcomings in military power, especially naval construction. The development of advanced naval power has become an urgent need for China. In 2000, a small building of the Shanghai branch of the China Navy Ship Research and Design Center was shrouded in a busy atmosphere. It was this year that they received an urgent task, which is to design a model that can reach the world's advanced level as soon as possible. The Guided Missile Frigate. The model code of this Guided Missile Frigate is 054. The frigate is a type of warship that can perform tasks alone, but more importantly, it plays a role of escort in the fleet. It is responsible for anti-submarine, air defense, security and other tasks. It is usually smaller than a destroyer, but it is more flexible. Because of this, it is the most commonly used ship in the Navy. Mr. Xu Qing is the head of the Shanghai branch of the China Ship Research and Design Center. He graduated from Shanghai Jiaotong University in 1982, designed a scientific experiment ship and participated in a destroyer project. In 2000, he had just entered the year of confidence and ushered in an important moment in his career. This moment connected him and the Chinese Navy in a leapfrogging step. Around February 2000, academician Zhu Yingfu, the director, asked me to take charge of the research on surface war ships and also to assume the chief designer of the Type 054 ship. I have the ability and opportunity to give this stage to be able to undertake this task. I am really happy. At the same time, I feel high pressure because this is a high demand job. The pressure Xu Qing feels is easy to understand. At that time, all navies all over the world focused their attention on a newly launched guided missile frigate. That is the French Lafayette-class guided missile frigate. It is the world's first warship with stealth function. Warship stealth has at least three aspects, sonar stealth, infrared stealth and radar stealth. Sonar stealth is to make the various sounds of ships as quiet as possible. Infrared stealth is to hide the heat sources of the ship as much as possible. To deal with radar, the appearance of the ship needs to be improved. Radar detects objects by echo. If it has a peculiar geometrical section like Lafitte, it can reflect the radar waves to other directions, so that the enemy's radar cannot get the echo hence avoid the enemy's detection. Although it is impossible for a ship to be completely invisible, it can delay the time as discovered later by the enemy. This can buy time for taking action before the enemy detects. The Lafayette-class guided missile frigate is the first ship in the world to use various means to hide on the hull. It has had a profound influence on the design of warships of various countries. From its beginning, stealth has become the most concerned warship technical indicator. And quickly catching up with this epic-making warship is the goal set by the Chinese Navy. Xu Qing is soberly aware of the difficulty of the task. Because the positioning of 054 is a verification type. If the development is successful, subsequent models can be developed on this platform. If not, China's advanced frigate plan will die. At this time, China has almost zero experience in developing large-scale stealth frigates. This is the Chinese Navy Museum in Qingdao.
Each piece of exhibition records the history of the development of Chinese Navy. When the People's Republic of China was founded, most of the frigates in the hands of the People's Navy came from the old warships of the Kuomintang Navy, and the U.S. and Japan navies received and seized after the wars. I graduated from university in 1966 and came to work in this factory. Made some military products. But at that time we did not advance in technology. Due to the small amount of military products been produced each year, and poor equipment we had, I knew in my heart that the ships we built at that time could not go to sea for war. If you want to fight, you will sacrifice a lot. In the several battles in the South China Sea, our guided missile ships had to get very close to the enemy ship in order to hit it with grenades. At the end of the 1970s, China developed its own second-generation frigate, the most representative of which is the 053 guided missile frigate. Although the 053 frigate has caught up with the trend of missileization of naval frigates in the world. But the stealth design has not yet been adopted. Not only that, the displacement of 053 is also very small, only half of the Lafayette class, only suitable for offshore operations. And the Lafayette class weapons and combat command system are much more advanced than 053. No matter how it compares, 053 has a huge generational gap lag behind of Lafayette. 054 started on a blank sheet of paper. Without parental reference, we start from scratch. We aimed at the advanced level of the world's class warship and walked towards that direction and towards that lighthouse. Surely, we are faced with great difficulty. The task before the designer is difficult but very clear. To benchmark the Lafayette class, you must surpass it in terms of stealth, combat, and power. To achieve the stealth of modern warships from radar, the main thing is to change the shape of the warship including weapons and various equipment in the outer shell of the polyhedron. Therefore, for warships with stealth functions, there is almost no vertical steel plate on the surface of the hull. This design sounds simple but faces a series of difficult problems. First of all, the wind cross area of the ship has increased. The increase in the total section area against wind will affect the performance of the entire ship. Second, our hull is simpler now. After being concise, the problem is that all antennas are more concentrated. This leads to very serious electromagnetic compatibility problems. To encounter the problems brought by new design for stealth, countless meetings followed one after another. People often express their strong opinions. Xu Qing is a very serious person on technical issues. Some colleagues even think he is stubborn, and too tough to work with. Maybe they are afraid of my work style. This is my work habit. Just don't leave the office today if this argument is not over yet. So I said, either you persuade me or be persuaded by me. At that time, everyone knew that the warships with stealth function in the world all adopted the appearance of geometric polyhedron. But under the same power and the same load, which one can run faster and steady as a warship? Researchers make models of the hull. Put them in the pool again and again for towing experiments. Measure the resistance of the ship. I conducted experiments in domestic pools and towed experiments in the Hamburg pool in Germany. More than 4,000 boats have been tested in the Hamburg pool. The test data given to me by the Hamburg pool staff at that time showed that our ship was the best among more than 4,000 ships. Electromagnetic compatibility is another big problem, especially in the stealth warship design. Because of radars, antennas, etc., the electromagnetic signals among various devices are often interference with each other. In 1982, the Battle of Falkland Islands was broken out on 4 August, two super flag fighters from Argentine took off, and then flew at a very low altitude. 
Approaching the Royal Navy's fleet, the main destroyer of the Royal Navy, the Sheffield, need to use satellite communications to communicate with London. There was electromagnetic interference between the communication equipment and the radar, and the captain ordered the radar to be turned off. No one thought that the Argentine warplanes was approaching and had targeted at the Sheffield. A few seconds later, a flying fish missile hit the starboard side of the Sheffield, sinking the destroyer that the Royal Navy regarded as a treasure. Electromagnetic compatibility has become a major problem that has to be resolved in modern warship's design. The large and small communication equipment, radars, and various new antennas on the 054 are brought to this type of lab to measure their electromagnetic signals. And then the equipment is adjusted and optimized based on these data to ensure that they will not interfere with each other after installation. All devices and equipment must work at the same time without interference each other. We just cannot tolerate any equipment failure or not working properly due to interference. The reliability and service availability must be very high. The pile of containers on the dock is a portrayal of China's growing global trade. Before China's military power moved towards deep blue, China's economy and trade had spread all over the world. To deal with possible military threats and to defend territorial sovereignty, and also to protect economic interests that have spread all over the world, China needs a navy that can go further deep blue sea. This strategic need of the Navy is directly reflected in the design indicators required for the 054. The Navy proposes that the new generation of frigates must have the ability to combat open seas. The tonnage shall be twice that of the 053 guided missile frigate. This means that a new high power engine must be prepared for the 054. In September of 2000, the development of a diesel engine suitable for 054 by the Shaanxi Diesel Engine Heavy Industry Company, which is located in the inland, was nearing completion. But whether it can pass the experiment is still uncertain. Shaanxi Diesel Heavy Industry was established in 1953 as a key project of the national first five-year plan. Like many veteran military industry companies, by the end of the 1990s, they faced survival dilemmas due to the reduction of military production demands. In 2000, the factory was ruined, and invested in the development of diesel engines urgently needed by the army. The factory put all bets on the development of the diesel engines, at the hardest time, the salary from managers to workers in the factory was only 200 yuan a month in average. Our factory meant to be a military factory. The factory was built to make naval submarines. But the risk of all or nothing is obvious. If it succeeds, the troops will order new engines in batches. If it fails, the early investment will be lost. At that time, we felt like we were united. The workers thought that the trough was reached and we soon could climb up. Hope the sun will rise soon. The research and development of the diesel engine took two years. But whether the performance of the assembled diesel engine is reliable that usually need to undergo 400 hours of test run, which is nearly 20 days. During the test run, all were most nervous. The fate of the factory would be decided in these 400 hours soaking. During those days, Director Zhao's hypertension reached 200, fainted several times, and had to go hospital to take IV. Both of us took turns for rest for a few hours in each day. No one knew this. We didn't tell anyone that we were afraid of affecting everyone's mood. When the diesel engine is being tested, the time to stop for checking and measuring should not exceed two hours, otherwise the previous tests will be void. And the cost of running the testing is more than 10,000 yuan per hour. I had been there for 20 days. 
In the last five days, I had been praying for our diesel engine. Hearing the sound of the engine in the morning, I was so nervous and hoped that this day would pass smoothly. Four days left, three days left, and two days left, finally last day. Time passed by every minute. The roar of the diesel engine seemed to freeze the air in the workshop. 400 hours finally passed. Everyone's hanging hearts then let go. The diesel engine test was successful. Everyone was very happy. Really, when the 400-hour test was over, we all had tears. You would not truly feel this as I described, unless you experienced. After the diesel engine suitable for 054 was developed, the challenge Xu Qing faced was how to reasonably combine these diesel engines. Because a single diesel engine cannot meet the power demand of 054. With multiple engines, he needs to solve the problem of power distribution among several diesel engines. Xu Qing proposed that four identical diesel engines should be paralleled in pairs and propel in double helix. This scheme was originally adopted on the Lafayette class. The French design is based on the power of one engine, followed by the other engine. But Xu Qing's novelty is that through more precise control, the two engines output equally. This is like two persons carry a heavy bag of goods. We each carries 50 caddies, which is total 100 caddies. If you are lazy and only carry 40 caddies, then I have to carry 60 caddies. That would definitely crush me, if each of us can only carry 50 caddies. Thus this power balance is the key. So we adopted this method. It is unique in our independent intellectual property rights. Some people say that the power system is the leg of a warship. Radar is the eyes of warships. Missiles, torpedoes, and artillery are the fists of warships. Then advanced combat command system is the brain of a warship. Combat system is another focus of 54's technical research. At that time, the previous Type 053 guided missile frigate had partially adopted combat systems. But against advanced warships like Lafitte, there is still a huge gap. In comparison, we have more shortcomings, and our starting point is also relatively low. Why do we need to benchmark the most advanced frigate combat system from West? This help us to determine the technical route of our 054 combat system. When Xu Shijun and his team were thinking about the technical route and direction of the combat system, their development focus was on openness and flexibility. That is, considering the existing mature domestic weapon systems first, and then reserve room for future upgrades in according with technology projected curve. We don't make a closure system. In the combat system, when considering the serialized development process, it is necessary to facilitate various flexible platforms that allows upgrades and transformations for more advanced or latest weapon systems. So we adopted this structure distributed system. This was also very new in terms of network technology at that time. Xu Shijun pulled his team of more than a dozen people to a conference room, and seal off. The team progressed day and night to encounter most difficult problems and challenges. He still remembers working with his colleague until the early hours of next morning and walking 10 kilometers to find food. Both of us worked until 4 o'clock next morning. We were in a small village. At that time, Beijing's Fourth Ring Road had not been expended yet. You can only go to Gongjufen where there is a Yang soy milk. That is the only place opened that early. We had fried dough sticks and soy milk there. Xu Qing sometimes goes to the shipyard. Look at their equipment and craftsmanship. Although working with a large team, Xu Qing often feels anxious. Do you know decidophobia? While facing a choice, a person has irrational fear of making decisions. For a lighter case, a person could be particularly anxious. If a choice is difficult, then it is a painful process. 
If there are many paths in front of you, unlike a robot, you will think and analyze and then try. You will be anxious. So I think the task for the chief designer is an anxious job. For two years, Xu Qing had been thinking about what he wanted 054 to be like. What kind of spirit does he want to endow this main frigate of the Chinese Navy in the future? What we pursue is the least resistance in the sea for the ship, but we also pursue its good seakeeping and seaworthiness. It has to be comprehensively balanced, which is of a balance in multiple parameters as we called. Xu Qing studied fine art when he was a child but stopped painting later. In his words, the previous art painting changed to design drawing now. Although he doesn't paint anymore. But the influence of art training is still there. In addition to the balance of performance in his mind, 054 should be beautiful to our eyes, he said. Call it beautiful, or handsome, or powerful, or whatever you call it. It should be a work of art. For two years, working day after day, the team finally completed the design plan of the 054 guided missile frigate. Compared with the Type 053 guided missile frigate, the 054 brought into a new generation of China's warships. First of all, 054 has made a major breakthrough in stealth. Second, in terms of power, it uses combined power instead of single-engine single-control power. This is a more advanced power system. So from the perspective of the entire platform, it has a leapfrog improvement. All the design drawings of the 054 guided missile frigate are stored in the archives of the China Ship Research and Design Center, Shanghai branch. The drawings filled with the entire filing cabinet depict the future of 054, which also recorded the hardships of scientific research and development, and efforts the team put. There are more than 4,000 drawings, and more than 20,000 pages of documents of 054. The numbers and drawings are abstract. But people are full of expectations to see what China's new generation of guided missile frigates looks like. Xu Qing once asked someone to paint a 054 in watercolor and sent it to the Navy organization's design plan for a review meeting. It not only enlivens the serious review meeting, but also increases the Navy's top leader's intuitive impression of future ships. That is a big paint. I had to pack it in a big bag and to carry from Wuhan to Beijing overnight. The Navy leaders responded very well after seeing it. They all feel a sense of modernity. Hudong Shipyard is known as the cradle of the Chinese Navy frigate. It is an old military engineer pier. Since 1952, it has been building frigates for the Chinese Navy. In September 2002, the design drawings of the 054 guided missile frigate were sent to this shipyard to build. The more advanced it is, the greater the challenge for the shipyard. Moreover, this project, as a key project of national defense, has no backup schedule. The ship must be built and delivered by the end of 2005. The contract is 39 months to build. Of course, it will not take 39 months for the shipyard to build the hull. The challenge questions are, whether the design process, the parts of the supporting factory can reach our shipyard as scheduled or not, and whether the equipment during the commissioning process is smooth or not. These are all unknown. A few months later, the same design drawings were also sent to the Wangpu shipyard on the Pearl River. Wangpu shipyard is also a military enterprise with a long history. This small pond is called Kobai Dockyard. It is the birthplace of Wangpu Shipyard. In 1845, the Englishman John Kobai built the first dock here for foreigners in China. In 1861, Kobe's son later built another dock not far away. That is Lushan Dockyard. During the westernization movement, Lu Kunyi, the governor of Guangdong and Guangxi, bought them from the British, which began to serve the Chinese Navy. The Lushan Dockyard is still in use today.
In fact, the real history of our factory began in 1845. After the Opium War in 1840, foreign capital were brought in. During the establishment of this factory, it should be said that it embodied a history of humiliation in our country. Under the leadership of the Communist Party, a new kind of enterprise has ushered in. In the first few years of the 21st century, China's warship building industry was standing on the threshold from old to new era. Two technologies emerged. One is the three-dimensional design, and the other is the construction method of the total section of the hull. This is the design office of the Pudong shipyard. The design drawings completed by the China Ship Research and Design Center have many details to be adjusted according to the shipyard's situation. This requires detailed production drawings in 3D. Three-dimensional design is actually the use of a computer software to divide the entire drawing into each model and module. Then directly stake out the parts and then transfer the data to the cutting machine or other machine tools automatically. For production, this saves a lot of time. And it's very effective and accurate. Traditional shipbuilding uses the tower construction method. Simply put, the whole ship develops from the bottom layer by layer on the main deck up to superstructure. The newly emerging mid-section construction is to divide the large ship into several circular sections, build them in different places, and finally complete the assembly in the dock. As the number of docks in the shipyard is limited, with such method, the construction of the total section can greatly improve the utilization rate of the docks. But the total construction is difficult and risky. To cut into three stages, the first difficulty is the design, and the second is the equipment section and parts matching. Once the three stages are merged and sealed, it is impossible to install the big equipment. It is just hard to move the large equipment into the ship. Therefore, the equipment and parts will be pre-installed in each stage. Matching each other between the stages must be considered in the design. 054 coincidentally caught up with the new wave of application of the two technologies to military ship construction, that are three-dimensional mapping and total section construction. In December 2002, the first steel plate was cut at Hudong Shipyard. This marks the official start of construction of 054. Soon the second 054 was also started at the Wangpu shipyard. After overcoming the design difficulties, they now have to overcome a series of construction difficulties such as new materials and new processes under the technological revolution in competition in order to accumulate experience for the development of China's Navy shipbuilding technology. The first technical difficulty is welding. Because the steel plate is of a special new type steel, with high strength and high corrosion resistance. It is not easy to weld this kind of steel plate to meet the design requirements. Zhang Yifei is one of the most experienced welders in Hudong Shipyard. Also known as the welding god. He was the first senior electric welding technician at the Hudong factory. In 1995, he won the first batch of National Technical Skill titles. In the second year, he won the Chinese Skills Award again. Soldering is hard work. This is especially true for Zhang Yifei. He is more than 1 meter and 80 centimeter tall, and he had to work in a space less than 1 meter high on the warships all year round. But Zhang Yifei likes the welding job. When he won the China National Technical Skills Award, a reporter asked him how long he could stay as a welder. I said I can promise that I will do soldering for the rest of my life. I don't know that my promise will be broadcast on the TV news that night. My relatives, friends and elders asked me about this the next day. I told them that I like the welding jot and love studying electric welding technology, so I made this promise. I really don't mind doing this for rest of my life. The 054 guided missile frigate uses a new type of steel that has never been used in surface ships before. Without reservation, Zhang Yifei was chosen for the task of welding test. But as soon as he got started, he found that his previous experience was no longer working. 
The weld he did for the first time was taken to the lab for X-ray examination, which was found unacceptable according to design specification. The steel plates used in 054 are not only thin but also have many alloy components. If you want to weld well, you have to find a new process. Zhang Yifei tried welding again and again. Two weeks later, he sent to his welds to the welding lab again. It turned out that the weld strength exceeded the design specification. Thus, a regulation issued by the military representatives stationed in the factory, all welding workers on 054 must be trained by Mr. Zhang Yifei. Even workers who have been certified by the International Bureau of Shipping are no exception. The Wangpu shipyard, which started construction late, was also troubled by welding problems caused by new materials. Different climatic conditions have different technical requirements for welding. The experience of Hudong shipyard might be not entirely applicable to Wangpu shipyard. But after a month of hard work, they finally found a solution. Under the pressure of the delivery schedule, the construction work was proceeding intensively. The whole assembly had become a new challenge. The size of the 054 is large, and Hudong shipyard did not have a corresponding horizontal slipway at that time, so it could only put the 054 on an inclined slipway. The level of the shipbuilding has strict requirements. Assembling on a sloped berth will undoubtedly increase the difficulty of the work, and increase the workload. The main shaft of the 054 power system is tens of meters long. Several of its bases and pedestals are manufactured in different sections. If each segment cannot be accurately maintained on one axis, the future main axis will not be able to penetrate. The positioning error in the hull cannot exceed 3 mm. To maintain accurate positioning requires constant measurement and constant adjustment during construction. These were hard work for the frontline workers. The person in charge of hoisting is Mr. Wu Honghai. He used to be the chief of the weapons and equipment department of Hudong Shipyard. The main gun of the 045 was installed by his team. The joint connection of the 054 main gun is very precise, and the error of connecting the gun to the base should not exceed 0.2 mm. However, the hull will change under different temperatures. The steel plate of 054 is thin, and this kind of change due to the temperature will affect the diameter of the base for the main gun. The installation must be carried out when the inner diameter of the base has the smallest deformation. I measured the change of diameter of the base for the main gun continuously for three days. Tested every hour to find the smallest change in time. Say today I measured every two hours, starting from midnight, then continue to measure at 2 o'clock, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 o'clock, etc. The next day I started to test from 1 o'clock, and then continued to test at 3, 5, 7, and 9 o'clock. I found that in the morning the change became slow, and it became faster at noon and afternoon. It also becomes faster at night. The lifting and installation work is scheduled in the morning. It must be completed quickly within the stipulated time. If you miss the window of time, you have to do next day. Because the ship is slanted, so the gun has to be also slanted. As the cannon crane is tilted, if the hoisting method is horizontal, the gun cannot be assembled. Time passed by minute by minute, but the gun was still not installed. I told our leader, there were still 15 minutes left. It was 9.05, and by 9.20 we couldn't put this gun in the mount. Because we only have a margin of error 0.2 mm, we can only do it during this time. They are very anxious. In the end, everyone's great effort was paid off, the gun was finally installed perfectly. In August 2004, the main construction of 054 had been completed at the Hudong shipyard, of which the installation and debug various equipment were taking place on the dock. At the Wangpu shipyard, other 054 completed the closure, and started the decoration and equipment assembly on the ship. Zhang Li Hong was responsible for soldering various cables and wire connectors on the 054 back then. People say that she performed her job like embroidering on eggs. The task is more demanding. The plug and connector are expensive. 
Each needle or wire inside is only 10 cm long, gold-plated, and cannot be pressed. Each plug has very dense needles or pinholes. It is easy to break if you are not careful. If so, it will short the circuit. At that time, the soldering of cable and wire connectors urgently needed a special soldering filler material. And this kind of soldering filler material can only rely on imports. After the first batch of soldering filler material was used up, the work had to stop. Two weeks later, there is still no news from the imports department for supply. The risk of delaying delivery is imminent. Zhang Li Hong had only worked for three years at that time. She has never done soldering on this new system. After hesitated, then she went out to look for domestic supply and finally found one. I said hello, master, first I'm a marine electrician in Wangpu shipyard. For this new model, I am confident that I can do a good job. You may not believe what I say. To prove, so I just squatted there and did it myself. After I finished it, I showed him the complete plug and connector. He gave a thumbs up, and said that your company also has masters in soldering such special cables and wire connectors. There are nearly 20,000 electrical plugs on the 054 frigate. The soldering of these plugs is done by female workers like Zhang Li Hong. This kind of work looks ordinary, but it has a heavy responsibility. Because as long as one connection is loose, the warship may malfunction. I am very bad. As soon as I got on the ship, I walked around and pulled the cable and wire wherever I see to check if is loose or not. If it is pulled down by me, I will request all the connectors to be re-soldered. This group of specialized workers has suffered a lot because of me. In November 2004, on the dock of Hudong Shipyard, the first 054 ship of the Chinese Navy has completed the dock mooring test. Preparations are being made before the sea trial. As the chief designer of the ship, Xu Qing also received a notice and rushed to Shanghai from Wuhan to participate in the trial voyage. One morning Xu Qing looked out from the guest house of the shipyard and saw a strange ship. I can see the ship just looking down from the guest room's window. Because I am more curious and love to watch ships, at the beginning, I thought of which country's ship visit here again. But look again calmly, this position seems to be 054. It's my ship. Later, I thought about it, and when it comes to the configuration of my design, from a different perspective, I indeed feel that it looks a bit modern. In fact, when the 054 was about to be completed, 54's photos and various imaginations were already circulating on the internet. Many military fans commented that the 054 is the most beautiful warship of the Chinese Navy. This warship, the most beautiful in the eyes of many people, slowly left the dock and began sea trials, in which a large number of new ship technologies are embedded. It has transferred from design drawings to the ship, but can it withstand all kinds of tests while sailing to deep sea? The sea test is very demanding. It is necessary to test at an extreme sea condition with strong wind and waves. Weapon test is a major part of sailing test. The main guns, torpedoes, and missiles are all tested. In the end, the testing of anti-missile shipborne weapon system is the most complicated. According to the test plan, the enemy ship will fire missiles at the 054 from an unknown location. As attacking the 054 with a missile, at a time, it is necessary to verify whether the detector of the 054 can detect the incoming missile and whether the combat system can quickly respond to shoot down of the incoming missile. The operation is carried out by the Navy, and researchers and development staff can only wait in the cabin. At the beginning, there was total silence on the ship, and the battle alarm suddenly sounded, then there is the sound of anti-missile missile launches and dense shooting, and then the sound of explosions. When the incoming missile was destroyed, the debris of the target bomb floated in front of the bow of our ship. Everyone was very happy in the cabin. 
This success reflects the most iconic capability of this ship. Carrying the great hope of the Chinese Navy frigate to catch up with the world-class level. The first ship 054 was finally delivered ahead of schedule in March 2005, with with the ship number 525. The Wangpu Shipyard's 054 ship was also delivered in September 2005, with port number 526. But when people were still immersed in joy, a disturbing news came. During the naval mission in October 2005, the power system of the 054 malfunctioned. The crankshaft of the diesel engine cracked. The diesel engine factory, the design department, the shipyard, and the relevant departments of the Navy sat together to investigate repeatedly, and finally found a parameter error on the control system. One of the main engines on 054 was taken down and brought back to Shanxi Heavy Industries. After analysis by experts, we then knew that the host engine was overloaded. The result of my analysis suggested that this is due to a parameter incorrectly set on the control system. When the ship is forwarded at full speed and then reversed immediately, the load may increase during the conversion process. It can be overload if this parameter set wrong. The root cause was found and resolved quickly. But since then the fault fear has always been pressed in people's hearts like a stone. When such a problem arises, as someone who worked military industries, I feel guilty. We have been developing military products for so long, and now we have this problem in memory. To be honest, this pressure may not be relieved for a lifetime, well at least for me, though. A few years later, many people still cannot forget the accident of the 054 first ship. People say that this is a hurdle that China's shipbuilding and military industry must take. This is my story. On the afternoon of the first day of 2010, I received an international long-distance call and could not recognize the calling number. The caller said, Hello, Hu Jianyao, this is Wang Xianzhong. I am escorting in the Gulf of Aden, on the ship 525. It is more than 4,000 nautical miles from the fleet base to the Gulf of Aden. Plus with continuous missions, this is undoubtedly a test for this warship. Is there something wrong with the engine again? Hu Jianyao's heart was immediately pumped to his throat. He said there is no problem, don't worry, just give you a call say Happy New Year. Since our main shaft system was improved in 2005, it is now running very well, please don't worry. Happy New Year to you. After listening to this, my heart suddenly relaxed. After the voyage of tens of thousands of hours, it has indeed proved that the engine and the hull are in excellent condition. The Institute's meeting is still full of disputes and arguments. The Hudong Shipyard and Wangpu Shipyard are still busy. After the successful delivery of the 2054 ships, the Navy soon decided to ask for an improved model. That is 054A. The weapon systems on 054A have been upgraded in a large scale. It carries 32 cells HQ-16 medium-range air defense missiles and anti-submarine missiles in a vertical launching system or short for VLS system. The HQ-16 has a range of up to 50 kilometers.
It also carries U-8 anti-submarine rocket launcher and 2x6 type 87,240mm anti-submarine rocket launcher with 36 rockets carried and 2 type 726-418 tube decoy rocket launchers. It mounts two by three 324 mm U-7 ASW torpedo launchers and two by four C-803 anti-ship and land attack cruise missiles that use solid fuel rocket boost motor turbojet engine range over 350 km and can cruise at 5 to 50 m in altitude. The 054A equips one PJ-2676 mm dual-purpose gun, which is controlled by a fire control system using radar input that allows to be used against surface vessels, land-based area targets, aircraft and inbound sea-skimming missiles, such as the Harpoon. The main guns are the autonomous type 730 provides improved reaction time against close-in threats. It uses 7-barreled 30mm Gatling gun or so-called close-in weapon systems short for CIWS. It is mounted in an enclosed automatic turret and directed by radar and electro-optical tracking systems. The maximum rate of fire is 5,800 rounds per minute, and the effective range is up to 3 kilometers. It has most advanced electronic warfare and decoys, type 922 to 1 radar warning receiver, HZ-100 electronic countermeasures and electronic intelligence system, and Kashtan-3 missile jamming system. 054A has advanced over-the-horizon radars, Type 382 radar as naval 3D air search radar. Type 344 radar, mineral ME band stand, OTH target acquisition and SSM fire control radar. Also 4 Type 345 radar, Mr. 90 front dome, SAM fire control radars, MR36A surface search radar, I band, Type 347 G 76 mm gun fire control radar, and dozen more advanced various radars and sensory devices. In the back of the ship carries one Kamov Ka 28 Helix or Harbin Z 9C helicopter. Updated combat command systems on 054A have improved for combat performance considerably. But all of these are based on 054 platform. We have some new equipment and new technologies concentrated on our Type 054 ship, which is equivalent to doing an experiment and verification. As for now, we already have a platform to use. Based on this platform, we now have so many new and advanced weapon systems and equipment on board the Type 054A ship. Since the delivery of 2054 ships in 2005, China has produced over three dozens of Type 054 frigates. After the weapon system is updated, the 054A ship has completely surpassed the Lafayette class to become one of the world's most advanced guided missile frigates. The stealth technology and shipbuilding technology adopted by the 054 were applied to other ships and created a blowout era in the Chinese Navy's shipbuilding. Based on 054 platform with smaller size, over 70 of 056 A corvettes have been built and delivered to the Navy. The Type 054A guided missile frigates are the Chinese Navy's leading ships that perform the most tasks in the sea. It has become a symbol of the image of China's great power. And it has also enabled the Chinese Navy to take a big step from offshore near sea to deep blue sea. Because the model code coincides with the May 4th Youth Day, military fans kindly call the modern 054 a the new youth, although its designers and builders are no longer young. Xu Zungu, the deputy chief designer of 054, has retired and leads a peaceful life. 
In the history of our frigate development, 054 is indeed the best. The designers of those subsystems are now either became chief engineers or deputy chief engineers. I am a proud of 054. It is the best ship I ever designed. Zhang Yifei has his own lab now, and is still training welders. Yes, I trained all the weld workers for the first 054 ship. I feel quite proud of. Zhang Li Hong became the team leader, but she still carefully solder the connectors and joint every day. Although we don't have to guard the frontier for our country, I think this work is their strong backing. Xu Qing has a new task, but 054's name and image often caused ripples in his heart. We used the 054A when we evacuated our citizens from Libya. When I saw the five-star red flag rising from the ship on the TV news, I was moved with tears. Because this is the warship I designed. My son went out to serve the country.